Hey guys, even here and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates The first one, as you can see, is Samson Daura at 15 weeks out of Mr. Olympia And I'm sure all of you can recognize this spot right here It's the magic mirror in the oxygen gym I'm sure you remember these legendary photos, especially of Rolly Winkler and some other guys who were training there over the years. I don't think there is anything special, anything magical, really, about this mirror. It's just some really good lighting with dark background. I don't think the mirror is making these guys look bigger, because Samson Dauda is about this size, yeah. So, at 15 weeks out of Mr. Olympia, this is what Samson looks like. And he looks good, he looks great, the conditioning for 15 weeks out is amazing, honestly, so if he continues progressing in terms of conditioning, he can actually be in some really good shape at a Mr. Olympia, hopefully he will not stagnate, because again, at this point, 15 weeks out, it's very good, he's very lean. Here we can see his back, which was a weak point, but no more, I mean it's not gonna be as good as Derek's back for example, but is this back gonna look weak on that stage this year? No, no, he's definitely not gonna lose the Mr. Olympia because his back is not big enough, good enough, it's good enough, it's good enough at this point. All he needs to do, really, is come in conditioned, and I'm sure, and we all know, he can win the Mr. Olympia. At some point soon, I will make uh, an early prediction video for the Mr. Olympia and uh, do I think this right here is a possibility? Do I think Samson Daura still can win the Mr. Olympia this year, all things considered? Also considering the fact that he is most likely not going to be peeled, you know, the way Hari comes in peeled or the way Derek is peeled from the back, I think there isn't really a big, a huge chance but I think I'll just have to stick with Samson, last year I had him winning, even after I saw the lineup, I just really want to see this guy win the Mr. Olympia, I think he's the guy, the best bodybuilder in the world right now, maybe not the most conditioned guy, but the best body on that stage, he has the height, he has the width, he has the, the, the completeness, the, the, the shape, the structure, everything is pretty much there, except for that graininess, that, that gnarly condition that the other two guys will probably bring, I mean, I definitely see why they beat him before, but I hope this year Samson is gonna edge them out by a slight margin, you know, coming in a little bit more conditioned than before, and look at this photo right here from last year, after seeing uh, Samson, the Arnold, and so on in his uh, off-season updates, I think he definitely made progress, I think his shoulders are definitely much wider and bigger now, his arms as well, I think everything pretty much overall grew, especially his back, so I think this year he's gonna be very competitive against these guys, and if his conditioning is a little bit improved, I think he can do it, I think he should win it finally, as you can see his conditioning for 15 weeks out looks great, it looks phenomenal, I don't think Hadi is any more conditioned at this point, or Derek, I think he's leaner than Derek probably, but if you guys remember during the prep for the Arnold Classic, he also looked really conditioned, like ahead of time, and then the weeks were passing by, the show was getting closer, but his conditioning pretty much stagnated, so hopefully this year he can fix that, hopefully he can actually keep getting leaner and leaner and leaner into the show, and finally figure out that conditioning, and he was also unhappy with the conditioning he was bringing so far, he wanted to make some changes, so hopefully this year the change will be exactly that, again, if he brings it, if he comes in ripped, seriously conditioned, I think he can win the Mr. Olympia, and if he wins it, if he figures out conditioning, I think he will remain in that top for who knows how long, I said it before, and I'm gonna say it again, Samson Daura is the closest thing to Ronnie Coleman that we had since Ronnie Coleman, probably the only guy who has the potential to achieve similar level of greatness, I don't think he's gonna surpass Ronnie or even get to his level, I mean Ronnie is a special league, a separate league of his own, but if anybody comes close, then it's this guy, and with all things he has going on for him, he can for sure win the Mr. Olympia this year, I hope it's gonna happen, whatever you guys think or whatever you wanna see, whatever you hope to see on that day, Tell me down below in the comment section, who are your favorites 
For me, it's definitely Samson Dower at this point. Alright, next up, we got a physique update from Nick Walker, obviously also 15 weeks out of Mr. Olympia, and he says, now we turn things up a bit. And then you can see also the comment from Matt Jensen, his coach, very proud of this look. What does this exactly mean? Why is he proud of this look? I mean, what, what changes did he actually make here? He's obviously not as conditioned as he was uh, those couple of weeks after the New York Pro. He got a little bit watery at this point, a little bit softer. So what does that mean? Why is he proud? Maybe he's proud because Nick is off right now and he still maintained a solid amount of muscle and good conditioning and pretty good hardness and fullness. Uh, if Nick is off, what does that mean off? I mean, for him, is 2 grams off for Nick and like 6 grams is on? <laughs> or is it like nothing? Or is he cruising on like 500 MIGs? What do you guys think? Tell me down below. But besides that, uh, what changes uh, Nick actually made in the meantime? I would say the main thing would be his midsection. Because I do see some improvements. And he has posted like 10 physique updates since the New York Pro. And I think like the, the change in the midsection is consistent. Like it's not like in one physique update his midsection looks nice and tight and the other one he looks bloated again. No, no, he actually looks pretty tight in that area. So here is for example his abs and thighs shot. And I don't think here he's really flexing his abs fully. But I think he's tucking that stomach in. I think he's actually trying to glue it to the spine. Of course, Nick will never be able to do a vacuum pose. It's never gonna happen, and I don't think he needs to do it. But as long as he keeps trying to do it, his midsection will at least stay flat. And that's all he needs, really. With so much muscle that he has, just keep it flat. That's, that's all it takes, really, for him to be, you know, to potentially be the one to challenge for the title. Now, we talked about Samson Daura, who might, you know, win. I think anybody in that top four can win, but what are the chances of Nick really winning it? I mean, at this point, I mean, like, yeah, sure, it's possible. And sure, he's gonna be very freaky on that stage, but, you know, can he really win the Mr. Olympia against those three guys? Yeah, sure, anything is possible, but I don't know. I don't know, it's a tall order for sure. Like, even if he keeps his midsection tight, super tight super flat. What will he do about his quads? Can he really make them look as big as uh, Harris or Samson's or even Derek's? I don't think so. I don't think his waist is ever gonna get smaller, like maybe a little bit, but not that much, like from the side, structurally. Like, uh, he, he can fix the bubble gut, his gut doesn't have to protrude, but his waist from the front, it's always gonna be a little bit wider. And like with his legs being as short as they are, and with his uh, quadriceps actually lateralis insertions being so low, his quads are always going to be a problematic area for him. But I mean, the other guys are also not perfect, but I think they have less flaws. So in order for Nick to win the show, he needs to be 110% on with conditioning and fullness, and also perfect, perfect with his abdominal control, and then the other guys need to be off a little bit as well, and then he might win. But I still do have him in my top four. But again, I do think he's improving his midsection, his midsection control, because it was really bad, really horrible at the New York Pro. And I don't think it's ever gonna get that bad again. I think he's very well aware of that, and he understands that he needs to work on that harder than on anything else. You know, conditioning, size, he can get that in, but midsection, that's gonna require the most work for him. And I think he's working on it, as we speak. I think all the physique updates that we saw from him since the New York Pro, his midsection looked so much better. So I still believe it's gonna look better on the Mr. Olympia stage. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Alright, we also kinda have a physique update from Chris Bumstead, unfortunately it's not much, Chris is not posting any physique updates basically throughout the entire offseason, he only starts posting once he is basically completely ready for the stage. Even Urs and Ramon couldn't get him to take his shirt off on that Pittsburgh Pro Guest posing stage. He just did a little speech and that was it, even though I think he looked very good, he still didn't want to do it, he's probably not happy with his look, um, he's not looking as good as he does 
when he is ready for the stage. So now we got a little bit of something. It means that he is starting to be happy with his physique and uh, it's not much, but it's a front double. And it's an interesting pose because we know that he tore, I think, both of his biceps. Or at least one. I know he tore one, that was public, but at one point it seemed like he did something to the other one as well. But here is a physique update of his biceps, at least we can see that. And I think they're actually looking better than ever. You know, as good as last year, let's say. Because last year, I think his biceps looked the best that ever looked. For example, if you go back to 2017, before he became the Mr. Olympia champion, his arms definitely did look a lot smaller. Not just the biceps, but like the triceps, the forearms, overall his arms in comparison to, his, uh, to the rest of his body definitely looked a lot smaller. He was heavily criticized for that. But last year, it was really not an issue, even though the rest of his body grew as well, his arms were actually in a decent balance with his body. Of course, there will never be a strong body part for him, like it is with Wesley Wissers, so I think Wesley might challenge Sibam this year, I don't know if he's gonna beat him, but if anybody has a chance, then it's gotta be this guy. But again, of course, Chris is still the favorite, and in this physique update, his arms actually do look bigger. Especially triceps. Biceps, you know, maybe a little bit, but triceps definitely do look thicker, especially. Especially the right one, you can see it right here. And the lats are popping like crazy. Yeah, this guy is still the favorite, for sure. <laughs> Whatever you guys think, tell me down below if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.